Well, Mother's Day, it's coming up tomorrow, so it's technically, this is Mother's Day weekend. Yeah. Maybe you're going to be brunching, relaxing. Maybe you have to work like every other day, but a cocktail might be nice for mom. That sounds great, right? Yeah. Or maybe a non-alcoholic mocktail mm -hmm. for moms-to-be. Mm -hmm. That would be you. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> These are for you, Natalie. As uh, Bitter Cube Bitters, Marco Zapia for three recipes that moms might enjoy for this week's Mom's Mix. There's always like something lacking in them also you like want something a little bit more so and that's where the spice comes in in cocktails spice often comes from bitters liquid drops of flavor essences as director of training at bitter cube bitters bartender marco zapia knows a little something about spicing up traditional cocktails and repackaging them for mom today he's sharing three recipes for mother's day cocktails and mocktails starting with that upgraded mimosa really low-key name the best mimosa ever. The best mimosa ever. I mean, ever. Setting the bar kind of high. <laughs> Start with Tattersall Orange Crema, a Minneapolis made sweet orange liqueur along the lines of orange cello. Add fresh squeezed orange juice. And then for your sparkling wine choice, you kind of want like a sparkling wine without any character, but like lots of bubbles and like a really like sharp mousse on the palate. So crystalline, those cheap and easy. An eyedropper of Bitter Cube's orange bitters dresses things up by adding notes of coriander and cardamom. This is, yeah, this is great. It's a little more rounded than your average mimosa, which is really just two ingredients. So a little depth of flavor. Next up. Marquette is a riff off a of Corpse Survivor at number two. Super classic brunch cocktail. This cocktail starts by rinsing an empty glass with absinthe. Use an atomizer like Marco, or just put a little absinthe in the bottom of the glass and roll it around to coat the sides. Absinthe, of course, like the anise flavored liqueur. Some people don't like that black licorice flavor, but this is really more about being on the nose than, exactly. than tasting it. Exactly, you got it. While Corpse Revivers are normally gin cocktails, the Marquette uses Aradura Blanco Tequila, Tattersall Orange Crema, Cokie Rosa Vermouth, lemon juice, simple syrup, and bitter cube Jamaican number two bitters. They combine the essence of grapefruit, hibiscus, and island spices. Double strain into the glass, and for goodness sake, pretty flower. Yeah, I mean, it's mom's special day. Exactly. Don't, don't skimp on the garnish. For moms who want or need to stay away from alcohol, there's the Captain Crunch. Pretty much you take uh, room temperature orange juice, then you whisk in uh, equal parts granulated sugar. Um, it's a little time consuming, so you can have a little munchkins do it while you enjoy the I like that plan. That orange syrup meets Bitter Cube's Cherry Bark Vanilla Bitters and seltzer water. That's it. Cereal, glass, let's see. Yup. Wow, that takes you back to childhood right there. Totally fun and safe for the kids, too. All right, sons and daughters and dads, get to work. All oh, those recipes yeah. online at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. A little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, Mike.